What we're trying to do in our school is build up classroom collections that are culturally responsive and relevant. And they hit a wide variety of different needs and tastes and interests of students. Um, so that would include, you know, the usual suspects, the, uh, the novels, um, but we also want to include um, informational texts. We want to include graphic novels, comics, uh, books on art, design, music, sports, fashion, um, books, uh, memoirs, biographies, um, poetry, possibly plays and lyrics, and also books that students may be interested in reading about their social emotional health, and possibly um, books that help them think about their future and plan for their future. So basically what we want to do is for that daily independent read, you want to have enough choice and selection. So students are not saying to you, I have nothing to read or there's nothing there for me to read. We really need to get away from this um, old fashioned mentality of the bookshelves as a book storage sort of area and that the students should be kind of rooting through and spine surfing. The whole purpose of this classroom library is to make sure that you make the books as accessible and as appealing to the kids. Cover art now is really quite amazing. It's like um, a genre on its, by itself. And so the, the cover art is going to appeal to the kids. That's what's gonna draw them in. I really don't think you need to be an expert in merchandising to see the difference in appeal and attraction between you know the way the books are set up here with spines out um, and you know turning the book so the cover is facing out I mean what what an amazing difference when you look at the cover art and the appeal and the attraction of that especially when you're looking at um, picture books you know or thin books like this where you really you know, you're not getting much really appeal from these uh, spines here. When you look at the difference between what the cover art looks like, how vivid they are, how attractive they are. Displays can be as creative as you want them to be, but the whole purpose, the end, the end game is to get the kids interested in the books, appeal to them to come and pick those books off the shelf, and change the displays up frequently so you're keeping that interest up. This is an example of a display where you know the staff, uh, library staff and teachers have made uh, an effort to display the books with the covers facing out to make them more appealing to kids. The problem with this display is that these books have been here for a really long time. So that's not helpful either because you know they just become part of the background. They're not really appealing. So to make the book display appealing, you want to change it up on a regular basis. Um, often when I go into a classroom, I see the books on the shelf like this, you know, all in a mess, kind of, you know, the kids, it, it's not necessarily a bad sign because it means that the actual books are being read. Students are pulling books off the shelf or they end up looking like this. So, you know, you really don't need to actually stack your books on the shelf or organize them like this vertically. You can organize your books like this. So they're horizontal, they're neater, um, and the, they're, the titles of the books are actually easier to read. You can get more books on a shelf like this. A question I often get is how do you get the books to stand up on the shelf. Well, if you're dealing with a hardcover book like this one, it's fairly easy because you just open it up and away you go. Um, the little ones that have soft cover, we use these um, bookends that you can get from the DC catalog and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video that links you straight into that item in the DC, in the TDSB DC catalog. And um, now when they come in, they're kind of straight. So you can adjust them a little bit you know, bend them, they're bendy. So you can make it easier to put the book up on it. So you just, uh, you can just stand the book there like that and they're 
you know so there they come in a couple of sizes there is a a small one and then there's a larger one for the larger books thanks very much for watching this vlog i hope it helps with your classroom displays and uh we'll see you next time